647 now on a Friday morning. Michelle, very busy in our Pinpoint Weather Center tracking this winter storm today. And when we take a look at the radar in just a moment, you can see what we're talking about. We see the dark blues on there showing that intense bands of snow responsible for what? Two inches snow an hour this morning, Michelle, in some spots. Yeah, the rates have been really wild. You know, the snow uh, is a little fluffier the further inland that you okay. go because the temperatures have cooled down into the middle 20s there. Uh, and the snowfall rates, again, have allowed for this to just really pile up. Yeah. And that band has been sitting over the northern and western parts of Rhode Island. So that's where our highest totals are going to end up with this storm. But I do expect to see some high totals even further uh, south and east as the morning goes on. Don't forget, if you uh, have your phone available, Available. You can scan the barcode that you see on your screen right there to get our weather app. We've been constantly updating you on the app as this severe weather alert continues again and scan that barcode will take you right to the app. So Burrowville right now with 10 inches of snow, North Smithfield with six and a half inches of snow, Manville five and a half, Providence 2.4 and Coventry coming in around an inch. We now have about an inch and a half in East Providence. The snowfall rate starting to pick up over the east and west bays now, but it's really been again areas north and west of 295 that have seen the most intense snow locally. That band stretches all the way up into Boston. The Boston area just getting hit with some very heavy snow. So within that band and it does stretch down into eastern and central Connecticut, southern Connecticut, we will see light likely some totals that come in over a foot of snow. It hasn't been nearly as intense along the coastline just yet, but I do think that'll change as the morning goes on and our storm system starts to lift more towards the uh, north and east. That heavy snow will start to shift eastward and southward into coastal parts of Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. So here's the good news. It's a fast moving storm because it is piling up quickly, but as quick as it's moved in, it's going to be moving out. The afternoon, quick improvements, lingering snow showers, two in the afternoon, dry this evening and overnight tonight, and then behind it, uh, high pressure builds in for the start of the weekend, which will bring back sunshine for your Saturday. But prior to that, got a lot of snow in the forecast. Again, by noon, we're looking at up to a foot or more of snow in this band that we've been tracking again over northwest Rhode Island. And I've upped the totals for the rest of the area too. On the low end, about five inches of snow. On the high end, could get eight, ten inches of snowfall. And it's coming with some poor visibility that we're continuing to watch this morning. If you can stay off the roads this morning, you'll have a chance to get out there this afternoon. You'll still see some lingering snow covered roads. Typical in, uh, in our snowstorms here as the winds gust 25 to 30 miles per hour, it turns breezy for us. The winds right now are light. Again, temperatures look colder the further north and west that you go. Middle and upper 20s, Willimantic and Smithfield. Providence at 29 with an 8 mile an hour wind. That makes it feel like it's in the upper teens and lower 20s. So difficult if you have to travel this morning. Heavy snow and poor visibility. Sun's coming up in about 20 minutes. This evening, though, cold, blustery, but dry. Even some clearing happening by the afternoon. Here's a look still at 9 o'clock. We're going to still be tracking some heavy snowfall into the mid and late morning hours. And then it's after 10 or so that we start to see some rapid improvements. Happens first in eastern Connecticut and then working its way across. Rhode Island and into southeastern Massachusetts. So dry and even some breaks of sun for your Friday afternoon. Friday night, just cold and dry, will fall into the teens for lows late tonight and early on Saturday. And Saturday stays cool and dry with highs near 30. We're back to near 40 for Sunday. Uh, timing that warmer air arriving starting in the overnight hour. So that low of 18 is in the first part of the night, Saturday night. By the time you wake up on Sunday morning, likely in the 20s already. And then climbing from there is that will allow for some rain showers as a cold front approaches. We've got to watch for freezing rain. Most of an issue, mostly an issue uh, over central and western parts of New England. And then Tuesday, look at that high 15 degrees, morning lows, bitter cold wind chills below zero. Get the updated forecast at WPRI.com throughout the day today. Brittany in and uh, we're continuing to keep you updated on all platforms this morning. Let's go to.